with Dufour, it's a, link, a long history. Uh, we've been working for Dufour since uh, 2002. So now we are nearly 20 years. And uh, so we have done a lot of projects with them and uh, the collaboration uh, is getting stronger and stronger, uh, model after model. Uh, since 2012, uh, we have been appointed as principal designers and so we take care not only of the naval architecture, but also uh, of the style of the, every model and uh, of the interior, the architecture of the interior and uh, the style of the interior. So we had uh, the possibility to work on the general, um, on the general, general arrangement and, uh, of, of each new model and to collaborate directly with the, the management of Dufour to create a new model. Uh, generally speaking, uh, we like very much uh, to, to make an innovation in any new model. So this is a little bit the DNA we have. And, uh, you know, working for a production ship, yeah, you have to take care because uh, evolution uh, and innovation uh, must be balanced uh, and must be made exactly in accordance with the management and more than everything with the, uh, the market. So um, we like uh, to, to try to, to give something new. Uh, speaking of the new, the, the 530 and the 61, um, we have uh, put a lot of new element. As an example, the aft bed is a little bit an icon of, of what we want to do on this new, new model. That is two cruiser boat that have to break a little bit uh, the tradition of the rules of a sailing boat because we want to make something that is easy to use uh, with more comfort. We had the, the possibility to save the boat in a fantastic day of, of, uh, of Mistral in uh, La Ciota. And uh, the boat was great. Uh, really, uh, it was uh, the performance uh, version uh, uh, with very nice sails and uh, the boat looks immediately fast uh, on, on the line perfectly and uh, the stability was correct. So, you know, when you test something and you feel it good at the first time, it means that uh, we are very close to what you want. And so... Honestly, I think that that boat will give a lot of satisfaction uh, to the four and to the owners. Outside, uh, with both the 61 and the 530, we try to improve the level of comfort. So introduce many little things, the steps, for instance, to go from the cock to the, to the deck, the bed in the aft of the boat, uh, the new Bimini uh, that uh, gives you the possibility to move around. So we have tried to work in many, many details, which are finally not details, but very important things when you are cruising your boat. And so we have really used our experience as sailors and as a cruisers, uh, you know, to, to try to live together better the boat. I did the two times together, two things together. I was in, um, in Brazil and uh, I did uh, this uh, autumn, uh, a fantastic cruiser slash race uh, from Recife uh, to San Fernando de Noruna. It's a little, little island in uh, 300 miles in the Atlantic. It's a sort of paradise. And uh, we were on a Dufour 500 together with uh, Renato Cuna, that's the owner and the husband. And it was a fantastic, uh, fantastic navigation with very good conditions. And uh, we reached the island. We were nine overall. So it was a good, uh, good result. And uh, finally, really appreciate, you know, the boat uh, and uh, how the boat had been managing this year by the owners, a very, very good experience.
For sure, uh, remaining close to Italy, I like very much Croatia and I like very much Sardinia, which are the places where I usually rent a boat during the summer with uh, my family. Uh, I have friends who rent boats in Sardinia and I have friends that rent boats in Croatia. And so these are two fantastic places. And then, you know, around the world, uh, Recife and San Fernando de Noruna is something that uh, I really suggest. <laughs>